Really great. Uh, who is this? Hey, Mike. <laughs> you, you're a staple, man. Th thank you very much for calling us back. Oh, anytime. I love the show, and I'm, I'm willing to be patient anytime with the show. Okay, Des despite the technical difficulties we're having. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How's, how's it going? It's going good, good. despite right. that. Shout out to my man TD that you have on the show tonight. How you oh, doing, TD? Okay. Oh, great, Mike. All right, brother. I just want to ask you something, man. Um, about the uh, the group, the diplomats. Um, how were they recruited for Let's Play House? I mean, who whose idea was to recruit the uh, diplomats for that particular song? Well, that was a producer of the record, uh, Mr. Harold Thomas. He was a writer of Let's Play House, and uh, you know the the time of the diplomats and. Uh, I was explaining to Clyde that you explained so many things to me that I didn't know, right. uh, even concerning people that I worked with at the time. Yeah. So maybe you could give, uh, you know, give the listeners an idea about who that group was. Yeah. Well, the Diplomats had recorded a popular song here in New York in 1964 called Here's a Heart. And um, it was played in all the stations. Hi, I'm Mike Boone, the Chancellor of Soul, a music historian and aficionado from New York City. I've taken on the challenge of keeping alive the history of music artists whose legacies might otherwise go unnoticed. Also, the preservation of such greats as Rock and Roll Hall of Famers, Frankie Valli of the Four Seasons, Steven Tyler of Aerosmith, Dion of the Belmonts, Tommy Hunt and Terry Johnson of the original Flamingos, the great pioneer Lloyd Price, Philly great Billy Paul, the stunning Darlene Love, legendary comedian Frank the Riddler Gorshin, and the lovely and curvaceous Yvonne Batgirl Craig, among many others.